Today we're going to talk about John Cabot Zinn. He's considered by many to be the um, father of mindfulness. He's not. Um, he basically just took mindfulness uh, from Buddhist teachings and um, removed the Buddhist part and then put it in a context of American medicine. Uh, he calls it mindfulness-based stress research or stress reduction. He's got a program there at uh, University of Massachusetts where he's a professor emeritus and he's very clear that he did not create mindfulness. Uh, we're going to talk about MBSR, um, which now if you Google MBSR, you'll get, what, 319,000 uh, hits, uh, results. But first, a brief introduction. My name, my name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E -E I started off as an emergency medicine doc, but became very uh, disappointed very quickly with the amount of injury, uh, disability, heart attacks, strokes, um, dementia that are coming into the ER for one reason or another. Um, <clears throat> I went to Johns Hopkins to get training in prevention, ended up running the, the postgraduate medical program there uh, in prevention. So <clears throat> why would I be talking about stress? Well, um, on a channel about preventive medicine and prevention research. Um, <clears throat> Stress uh, is known by many to have a ne very negative impact on health, or it's been thought to have a negative impact on health. I'm not going to get that deep into it. There's really good research around it. Uh, review some of my other videos on it. Um, <clears throat> or just ask a, someone with uh, diabetes or even insulin resistance who's monitoring his or her uh, blood sugar as well. Cortisol goes up. Blood sugar goes up cardiovascular inflammation goes up. And with cardiovascular inflammation, you get uh, dementia, heart attack, stroke, heart failure. Uh, again, the major causes of death and disability in this country. So <clears throat> who is John Kabat-Zinn? Well, he's a, he's a um, professor emeritus at uh, University of Massachusetts Medical School. He was born in uh, New York City in 1944. Uh, he got a Ph.D. at MIT in molecular biology in 1971. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, he was introduced and trained in Buddhism, or Buddhist uh, philosophy, by a fellow named Philip Kaplow. He was also trained by Thich Nhat Hanh. Pardon me if I've mispronounced that as well. I mispronounce a lot of things. But uh, Thich Nhat Hanh is a, a well-known author in this area uh, and another yogi named uh, Singo. Singo. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Sing Son. Uh, in 1993, he, uh, doc, Dr. Um, Kabat-Zinn achieved national recognition driven by a Bill Moyer special titled Healing in the Mind. Um, in 1994, he uh, published a book called Wherever You Go, There You Are. Uh, Well-known book. <clears throat> Many of you will recognize the title. Now, um, in BSR, um, It's founded by Cabot Zinn. It's focused on, uh, it ta basically takes, um, as I said, uh, mindfulness out of the Buddhist um, context and focuses on moment-to-moment uh, -moment awareness. Does that sound familiar uh, when you remember the, like the title of the book, The Power of Now? So again, taking the patient out of uh, focusing on um, the past and the future and into the present. Kabat-Zinn also has a major focus on what he calls self-care. He says taking care of our self, our mind, our body will help us uh, get healthier. Sounds reasonable and logical. Now, <clears throat> 
MBS, a couple of other interesting points. Um, MBSR was um, has been researched. There's a lot of uh, military clients for um, mindfulness-based stress reduction. Uh, some of it in what, not so much just in therapy for for military personnel, but in operational effectiveness. Now, <clears throat> on a side note, Cabot Zinn approved of this, and that sparked a significant debate among a uh, um, mindfulness community that is, to a large extent, pacifist. Now, like I said, Google searches on MBSR a few years ago uh, resulted in 22,000 hits, now over 300,000 hits. If you uh, add anxiety and uh, depression to that, you get more like four and five hundred thousand hits. So it is a big deal now. <clears throat> and I'm not talking about just plain Google search. I'm talking about Google Scholar. So um, what does Cabot Zen have to say about um, the Mick mindfulness? Uh, movement. In other words, th this is a, a, a an interview uh, from a uh, an internet magazine where they're basically asking him a few questions. The mindfulness question has to do with, look, everybody's doing it. Uh, they're talking about one minute mindfulness now. Uh, eight minute mindfulness takes too much time. People are making money off of mindfulness. Uh, Cabot Zinn's reaction was, again. Well, yes, and I get uh, I get pinned as the father of that. I'm not. Mindfulness has been around for eons with Buddhist philosophy. I didn't create it. Number two, mindfulness is healthy. It's um, the fact that you've got people trying to make money off of mindfulness is just an an acknowledgement that mindfulness is effective at uh, at healing folks. Um, <clears throat> sure enough, uh, there are. I, I pulled an article, um, and I'll do that in a in an upcoming uh, video. It's called the Mindful Student Survey. It was um, it's a randomized clinical trial. It was uh, published in Lancet just a few years ago. Thank you very much.